The product I'm tasting today will be a first for me. But for some reason, even though I've never had it, I have a feeling that it can't be beat. So I'm reviewing another farmhouse culture product. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell. And if you got something you want to let me know or leave me a tip, please leave a comment. I sure would appreciate it. It's time for me to review this product. It's been a long time coming because I didn't see this product for a while. As soon as I saw it, I got it. If you'll remember, this is one of the products that I got with a free coupon that Farmhouse Culture sent me. So I just want you to know that I got this package for free in case you think that might influence my review. But let me just tell you, since this is based on my least favorite flavor of Gut Shot, the Farmhouse Culture product that I love the most, I really don't have high hopes for this. I know that sounds bad, but I want to be completely honest with you and let you know that ginger and beet isn't necessarily a perfect pairing for me, and I felt that the ginger beet gut shot was a little overwhelming, so I'm wondering if I'm not going to feel the same about this, and then I'm going to have this big old bag of stuff to eat if I don't like it. But when they gave me the freebie, I wanted to put it to good use. I didn't want to just buy one that I knew I would like. Maybe I should have, but I wanted to get something that I could review for the channel, and they still have some other flavors that I want to review. And today, we're going to get into this and hope for the best. The ingredients are cabbage, water, red beets, sea salt, and ginger, and it's organic. You can't beat their ingredients list. Farmhouse Culture really does a good job and they really make a great product. It has one carb per two tablespoon serving and five calories per serving. This is a great thing for your gut health no matter what kind of diet you're following. There's no sugar in it. It's low in carb, it's low in calorie, and like I've said, fermented vegetables may do so much for your gut health that I just wish everyone would try these products or products like them if you're not getting any fermented foods into your diet because what it can do for your gut health and what it did for me is truly remarkable and that's why I review so many of these products. All you ginger and beet fans, if that's a good combination for you, if that works for your taste buds, I'm going to get in here and see what this is like. Last time I had a big hassle opening the package. And that's not going to happen this time. I'm going to do it the way I usually do it. I just line it up with the little notches where you're supposed to tear and cut straight across. Alrighty, that opened it right up. Open the seal. I'm going to let you look down in there. Just exactly what it looks like on the outside. You can see the, that's a real window there. You can see right through to the product. But it looks like shredded beets. Like I said, it is cabbage as a primary ingredient. So nothing left to do but taste it. We've, we've done a lot of these products, so you know the deal. I'm just going to get in there and give it a taste. I'm going to give it a taste cold because these products lose a lot of their health benefit when you heat them up, at least when you heat them up above a certain temperature. So I usually eat these products cold, so that's the way I'm gonna try it. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna go through it I had that big sour shock at the beginning. That was just because it's sour. It's also the first thing I've eaten today. Um, though that wasn't a bad shock. Here, I'll prove it.
What I taste is my favorite brand of sauerkraut. I recognize it immediately. It has that same flavor that I'm used to, the same texture that I'm used to. And that's primarily what this is. That's the first ingredient, it's cabbage. I'm getting a taste that almost tastes like orange. And I think that's the ginger. I believe if I tasted this blind and had no idea what it was, I wouldn't know that there was ginger in it. It's almost citrusy, but that's a taste that can come from sauerkraut. Sauerkraut can have a, a citrusy taste to it. And in moments, it almost tasted like orange. And I was like, is this got orange peel in it? But there's no additional flavorings listed. So I'm thinking something about the citrusy taste that you can get from sauerkraut and fermentation mixed with the ginger gives it some type of orangey taste. I'm gonna get one more taste just to, just to double check that ginger. It's there, but it's really far back in the taste profile, I would say. It's like several things hit you before anything remotely close to ginger hits me. That's the way it is for me. But one thing that isn't way back in the taste profile, one thing that's right straight up front in my face is beet. This product and the Gut Shot product has the strongest beet taste. And I don't love it. I've said before, I like beets. I eat beets. But this just tastes so raw and so intense. It must just be what happens to beets when you ferment them. So all I can gather is that I am just tasting the intense flavor of fermented beets. And it's too much for me. What can I say? I can't handle it. I can't handle the intensity of fermented beets. I'm going to be taking a pass on ginger beet in the future, but I think I gave an accurate description of it. If you're buying it because you can't wait for the taste of explosive ginger, then I think you're going to be disappointed. If you love beets, I think this could be your favorite one. And again, most importantly, try to get fermented vegetables in your diet. Try to get fermented foods. Try to get gut shot. Something fermented like that can make a real difference in your gut health. Give it a try. Make 2020 the year that your guts are so healthy that they gurgle thank yous to you every day with guts. Thanks for watching.